Okay, so our second game for today is Le Aventures de Mokhtar. I just noticed it had the uh, Titus logo. Actually, I probably should have... Oh, okay. Um... What do you buy, uh, yeah, camel cigarettes? Just kind of... I don't know, I can't quite put my finger on it. Something seems a bit weird here. Okay, well first of all, assuming that this works, because we've got it on record at the moment, it's taken a little while to load, so uh, we'll add some extra time on this one. Okay, that's fine. Not too bad. Okay, I press we I guess we press one for start, we do. This is Titus the Fox, isn't it? But just with another character. Yep, it's a, it's exactly that, isn't it? Um, okay. So did this come before or after the, um, the Fox character? Is the music different as well? Not sure. Oh, I forgot about that guy. Don't do that. I am curious. To, yeah, what did come first? Was it uh, Tis, was it Titus the Fox or was it this character? And of course, my second question is, why? <laughs> why is why is it why is there two versions of this one?
I can say it's quite interesting how they do like variations of the same game. Um, another example of this was um, Rat Trap and Krusty's Super Fun House. But that had more of an, you know, they had like, even though that was like the exact same game, they changed the graphics enough to make it sort of look different. But with this, it just looks like they changed one character. <laughs> they just changed the main character from a fox to an Arabian guy, or vice versa, depending on uh, when they were done. It is unusual. <laughs> this is a, it, it's unique in a sense. It's unique in a sense. It's it's unique in that why would someone do it sort of unique. Yeah, I see they still kept their flying insects. That was one thing they could have modified. But yeah, seriously, what was it this that came first or Titus? This one came first. Okay. I suppose the music's got a bit of an Arabian theme to it. Yeah, it's been a while since I've played Tizzas of, Tizzas of Fox. Feels like I'm doing worse than I did before, which is kind of worrisome. But just wondering if the level design is slightly different. Well, I thought with Tizzas of Fox, maybe I had to get like a number of objects before leaving the level, but maybe I'm just, yeah, probably just mistaken. I was gonna say it's got it's got me wondering now what sort of games are like almost identical from one another. I mean, I suppose you could argue, um, well, not really, but maybe like with Lemmings because they got like different variations. Like you got the two disc edition and the single disc edition, which comes with the absence of the beginning and uh, four levels of you know, were sort of changed around to sort of reduce the, uh, to make it all fit into one disc. But they don't, you know, it's still the same sort of concept, it's still, it's still lemons. Oh, hello. Get out of there. Sorry, I just had a pop-up, I don't know if that appeared on the screen or not. On OBS. Yeah. 
Yeah, was it with Titus the Fox that they replaced the spikes down there with broken bottles? Maybe again, mix up with another game entirely. Do I need, do I even need to go down there? to drop yeah a look down feature would be great here do I just fall to the right okay mm. not a fan of this bit oh we died okay Maybe we don't go down there after all. Um, maybe it's just like a bonus or a shortcut. I don't think I've been up here before. <laughs> How many platforms are there? Okay, it's just, what, a shortcut? That's weird.
I much doubt you get the wheelie bin on the next level. Don't think it carries it on. It would be cool if you could. I'm gonna pick that up, just just leave it. Right, so this is the magic carpet, isn't it? I remember that, but where... Where do you have to leave it here, is it? Was it... Just press fire? Ah, there you go. Don't recognise that character with a knife and fork. <laughs> what's uh, what's alarmed you, sir? I can think of many. I can think of many answers. Many reasons.
Oh, you think maybe it's like some kind of weird racial stereotype? Yeah, probably. Was towards the nineties. Oh, did we? Okay, that's cool. Can we do that to other characters? Just knock them out like that? So yeah, obviously the same problems that I have with Titus the Fox. Stuff just happens rapidly when they throw things, it's just like bullet speed. No way that particular enemy is in Tizzard's Fox. Well, I, yeah, I guess we'll have to, uh, yeah, be interesting to see what they changed. Oh, he can go right through the force wall. That's kind of... I want to try and get over there to the ladder on our right. Uh, how did we go about doing that though? like that it would seem and that's um that's the boss isn't it yeah can you just duck his shots
already this exchange is much better than Pro Soccer 2190. Right, if I recall, this bit's a bit of a maze, isn't it? This will give you some things to pick up at the start, though. enemies in the in uh, the Titus version hmm <laughs> can't seem to pick that up for some reason why is that Oh, that sucks. All that for nothing.
Ooh, why did that suddenly slow down? I get the feeling I might be going the wrong way here. Maybe not. A bit brutal. What's the purpose of that bit? Okay, maybe that's just a right dead end. So, was all this just a complete waste of time? I really don't like the way it slows down like that. Annoying that it starts you back there. Don't like that. Oh, did we die? Okay, we got a password, didn't we? I'm sure we picked up a password. It doesn't take us back to the subway.
Yeah, those uh, false platforms are quite annoying. Oh, that's a pain. Lost the um, carpet. I wonder if you could just um just bypass the person without bothering to kill him. Like maybe you just lose up like, one or two hits. We find out. Okay, seems like we have to yeah, do we do have to attack him first. Take him out. In balls naturally. Hmm. Yeah, notice it was it up to go back through. Yeah, the music's pretty good on this stage, isn't it? Do quite 
ठीक है Yeah, it seems like these doors are just uh, one way, which is a bit frustrating. What do we go down here? That's a pain. I'll come to the top platform. He's got the same um, uh, weight animation as uh, Titus the Fox as well. This bit I don't like. Get up there, please. There we go. So the top bit leads to death, doesn't it? It's just a dead end with those two guys. But um, in that case, where on earth do I go? I'm guessing I should have brought the uh, trampoline with me as I entered these areas. Because I feel like without that, I believe I'm stuck here. Oh yeah, the worms are pretty, um, <laughs> yeah, they're kind of nasty, aren't they? Oh, you mean in real life? Yes. Oh, they're, they're just as bad. I mean, all sorts of unknowns lurk in the subway.
Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do here. Oh, you just don't hold down. You just hold down and fire on that particular bit. They can't go back. I mean, I know there's an anvil there, but I have no idea how to jump over that without getting knocked. Maybe I just need to do a full jump there? Okay. Weird how that went in slow motion as well. Okay, apparently that's the end of that level. A weird way to end it. Doesn't look obvious. Yeah, this is um it's a weird little game. It's not it's not bad by any means. It's um it's, yeah, it's very different. It's kind of... It's kind of unusual the way just stuff gets thrown at you so quickly. Like the catapults, just... you got like a second to react to it. Well, if that. Half a second, I guess, at most. of those platforms are. Unless you pick up a ball and you sort of advance up there. You go back to those platforms with the spring. Does it help propel you to a new section? Oh, it was. Is that a bit there? No, I don't think it was. Oh, 
Or maybe you need to bring two sprints out. Or maybe I'm just thinking too much into it. No, oh, you clown. I didn't actually know you could just throw it like that. Well, that's gone for good, isn't it? Hope that wasn't important. You probably needed it. We needed the sprint to go up there, didn't we? Okay, well, I guess the only option is to go down. Ouch. They're supposed to be zombies. So yeah, wonder how you get past this bit. There's actually a pillar uh, bottom left. Um, no idea how you get. Maybe there's a hidden. Was there a hidden platform up that bit? Out on the fire. Is that? No, you're kidding me. Mind you, this game, full of surprises. we do that bit before maybe you had to jump twice in sucks in such uh, succession let the moment you know just like the you had to sort of jump very quickly twice to sort of like add the momentum or maybe you needed to bring the sprint down there So put us back down there. What on earth are we supposed to do? You can't pick up the skulls, can you? Yeah, maybe. Although I don't think the second jump would add any add any height or not. Oh, I mean, we can't. Mm. Um, I mean, we could try it. Just go for it. Yeah, no idea. If there is an invisible platform there, then that sucks. Okay, that's actually good timing because, um, yeah, it's more or less, uh, climb up. 
for this one. So, uh, yeah, that was, um, I guess that was uh, Titus the Fox before Titus the Fox. So, yeah, same thing pretty much applies. We know, what did we see that was different? Like, a few enemies that were, um, yeah, had slightly different uh, makeovers. I guess, you know, that'll find, I guess we'll find out next time we play Titus so we can make the two comparisons. But, yeah. This one's okay. This one's this one's an above par platformer. Once you get used to all the weird, you know, the high velocity speeds and stuff, it's uh, it's okay. It's got it's got its own charm, its own uniqueness. <laughs> 